this is my potato plant. We're getting little flowers on it. So I've been told that once you get little flowers on it and once it all looks like it's dying, that's when you can pick your potatoes. So this thing is like the biggest potato. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen a potato plant, I guess, but that's huge. And if you look at my other video, I had showed where there is another plant starting to grow. And this is how big it is now. This was that, this whole entire thing over here. So, but I don't see any potatoes sticking out, so I think we're okay. I don't know how many potatoes we're gonna have. Maybe I planted way too many. So I just picked a few of these. Oh, here's another one. Actually, I don't know. I may leave it on there for another day or so. And see if it gets bigger. But I just plant, I just picked a bunch of these. I was told to pick these as soon as they get big enough. This right one right here is a sugar snap pea. And then those ones over there that I just showed you are snow peas. But we've got quite a few coming in on here. I don't know where the rest of them are, but there's some. Oh, here's more that are going to start soon. My kale is getting pretty big. This is red Russian kale. I'm not really sure when to harvest this, but I need to check because I think that's when they'll start growing in much fuller. Once, if it's like anything like lettuce. Or they'll just keep growing in, so looks like I got some little babies down there. Please excuse this big scar on my hand. That's what happens when you're not wearing real ovens. So, so as you can see, my beautiful broccoli plants are being eaten, hoping I can save them. But I'm not really sure. I went ahead and ripped out the one. Apparently it was it was going to it was flowering and then it was going to seed and you don't want that. So I ripped out that plant because it's no longer useful. And here it is. Roots and all. So I guess all of these mean it's oh. I guess this is where all the seeds are, so I guess maybe I can pick those out or something. I'm not really sure. I gotta figure that out. But, it's pretty tall. We've got some exciting news. We had a sprout, we had a flower. Ooh, we've got a couple more flowers coming in. And then, voila! Look at that sucker. I'm pretty sure this is a butternut squash. I'm not 100% positive, but it's pretty exciting. We've got a bunch of other flowers. And honestly, I kind of like how small it is. Like the plant itself. Because last year, we planted a um, spaghetti squash and it took over everything. And I, I mean, we had, I can't even tell you how many spaghetti squashes we went through, which was really cool. It was really awesome getting to harvest all of them and figure all that out, but pretty excited about this. It's a little, little baby coming through. So, this is backwards, but I did have a bunch of little sprouts in here. And then I went to go pour out the water and didn't realize how, um, just how liquidy it was. So now I've got, I saved another sprout, but this is my lemon balm. And so I've got one, two here. There might be more in the ground, but I'm not sure. And then it looks like my marigold is actually starting, finally, out of all the ones that I planted, but that's okay. My thyme is growing, finally. I got a bunch of little tiny sprouts and I planted a lot. So, then we are growing some, oh that's backwards, oops, some catnip, 
So it's starting to come in. And what I did, so these parts right here, up top, I think mean they're flowering or seeding, going to seed. And I don't want that because they're too bitter. So I cut off a bunch of these earlier, but it looks like I'm gonna have to come out here again and cut some of these off and make sure I start using my cilantro before it all gets, I guess, goes to seed and then I can't use any of it. So I think I'm gonna have to cut off some more of these. Um, see, in the dill, I think this is mammoth dill. So I think it's gonna be a while before I can use this, but we got some, it's grown quite well. The basil's getting, I'm gonna have a lot of basil, but it's getting pretty big and you can go like this. Oh, it smells like basil. The chives, I bet I could harvest some of this soon, but it's getting pretty full. Here's the arugula that I started um, harvesting. Looks a little different from the store kind, but I was just cutting them off pretty low when they're nice and tall. I'm also very new at this, so you can tell me in the comments if I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> but yeah, overall, it seems to be going okay. And then Here's more arugula that came from here, and there's some here. So here it looks like, I don't know if that's... Maybe, I don't know if that was arugula. Oh. But then it came over here from the wind, so we'll take some of this too. So and maybe the beets, I don't know how tall these are supposed to get, but I'm, I might have a lot of beets. I might have planted them wrong, so who knows. So I'm out here harvesting, and apparently, lesson learned, I should have harvested my radishes early, but I do have some here I can use, and then you can eat all of these greens on top, so definitely going to do that. Um, let's see, I harvested some of the butter crunch lettuce, quite a bit of it. So here, I was using scissors before, but I'm just going to cut that off at the end. I'll get all the big pieces. That way, more can grow. I've got a ton more inside and I'll insert pictures right here. <laughs> 